Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me, Zug. So today we're going to be taking a look at a fairly low level stratagem and equipment loadout that is kind of designed to help against all targets. So around medium to hard difficulty, uh, lightly armoured to medium armour. So, you know, this is kind of what I've been leaning towards. Uh, of course, when you get onto the higher difficulties, you know, the stratagems and weapons you need to use will change because the units that you're fighting against will change. There'll be heavy armoured vehicles and all that sort of thing. So, as I said, this is for light to medium armour, medium to hard difficulty, and sort of lower level. But uh, let's take a look at what we've got. So, I found out of the uh, Patriotic Administration Centre... Some of the best things to use are, weirdly, the starting machine gun. It's very, very good. Very underrated, because you already start with it. People think it's not very good, but it's um, pretty decent against most targets. But I have found, though, that the the AC-8 autocannon uh, is wildly effective against light to medium armor targets. And for cracking them before they get anywhere near you or your squad and if you see here in the demonstration video it is showing you that it requires two people to use it uh, which it doesn't what you actually do is when you summon it down you pick up the gun and the backpack and you can use it solo so for all of these weapons that show you having to use two people you don't have to use them as two it just re requires you to reload slightly differently which is instead of somebody else reloading the gun for you you reload the gun yourself but this does mean if you use this backpack solo you can't use other backpack items for example the jump pack or the guard dog rover or the other guard dog backpacks so just be warned but the auto cannon is really goddamn good for taking out uh, light to medium targets. Very fun to use, but do be warned, um, the rounds are technically explosive, so if you shoot something point blank, you will kill yourself. So just be warned. And we'll go on to next with the orbital cannons. Uh, all of these are quite good, to be honest. They're very effective. I'm holding off until... Uh, what was the one I was going for? Probably the... 120 millimeter HE barrage or the 380 uh, HE barrage. They're very, very, very good. The 380, of course, is um, as you can see, AOE, so you need to be slightly more careful using it. As uh, if your team is in there, they won't appreciate being bombed. But they're very fun to use and very effective, especially if you're cracking uh, outposts. Or the cyborgs or the bugs. This is very good at doing both of them. Now onto the hangar. Uh, these are very fun to use and really effective. I've been going with the airstrike and the napalm strike for the moment, but I probably will switch out the napalm strike for the uh, 500 kilogram bomb, as this is just a uh, an ability that says, you see those units over there? I don't want to anymore. But it is level 15. I'm not quite there yet. So I'm currently saving for it. And I'm going to be switching out the napalm or the bomb. Though the napalm is incredibly effective early on, especially against bugs. As when you drop it, it doesn't just blow up and burn everything. The fire sits there for a while. Anything that walks through it also takes huge amounts of damage. So it's very good for blocking off corridors of attack. And then, easy. And then we can look at the bridge. All of these are quite useful. Just depends on what flavor of bridge ability you like. Out of all of them, I would probably grab the shield generator at some point especially if you're fighting cyborgs most of the time. 
it just gives you a bit more survivability. But the orbital EMS strikes pretty good as it does uh, temporarily stun everything that it hits. So that adds a bit more survivability to you and your team. All right, on to the engineering bay. Uh, early on, the supply backpack's quite good. The grenade launcher is pretty decent for cracking uh, unarmored to light armor targets. But as you can see here, it's not intended for use against vehicles or fortified buildings. So you know, you've got to pick your targets properly for it. And if you don't have a backpack equipped, uh, the Guard Dog Rover is one of my favorite backpacks to use as this thing doesn't actually reload or dump heat that often. And it does keep you a lot safer, especially if you're playing, having to play solo because of the uh, quick play bug. Uh, this thing will keep most of the little bugs off of you while you're playing. And then we've got the other bits. Uh, the ballistic shield might be useful. I'm not quite sure if I'd ever use it, but you know. The arc thrower and then the shield generator backpack. This is probably one of the most useful backpacks as it was in the first one. So if you fancy using that, give it a go. And then we've got the robotics workshop. Uh, all of the sentries are really, really good. As I said in the previous video, uh, do be careful though, because they will kill you. They have no uh, friendly fire stopping abilities. They will just shoot through you. And the most terrifying one so far is the mortar and the other mortar. Because if anything gets close to you, this thing will just try and shoot them and you will die. But it is incredibly effective. Especially if you're cracking medium targets. This thing takes no prisoners and does exactly what it says on the tin. But just to be warned, it is uh, a little bit dangerous because of that blind firing. Uh, the guard dog again is quite good. I think the rover is slightly better because it doesn't have to reload. Gatling turret is pretty easy going early on. You know, just stand behind it or stand behind cover while it's firing. And then you've got the auto cannon, the rocket sentry, or the uh, EMS mortar. All of them very effective. I mean, I would probably take the auto cannon with me just for breaking those harder targets. As as you progress through the game, everything gets more and more armored. So having a multitude of ways of breaking that armor is always useful as your main weapon can usually take out unarmored to light armored with no trouble whatsoever. Yeah, this is just a uh, quick look through of the stratagems and figuring out which ones would work quite well together. So yeah, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, ring that little bell for notifications. It really does help us out. And uh, I shall see you all for the next one. So until then, take it easy. I'll see you later.